I'm in Namibia, in southwest Africa. A vast country, made up largely of desert. It has a tiny human population living alongside a host of dangerous wildlife. I'm being dropped in the remote Omahiki region near the border of Botswana. And I'm here right at the end of a very long dry season. Okay. Vehicles dropped me off. This place looks horrible. It's just thorns and dry stuff. Crikey. Before going into isolation, I met the sand bushmen who've thrived in this harsh environment for thousands of years. Like them, I know that any remaining waterholes are likely to be downhill. Following this dried up river gully seems my best bet. You can see the, the river channel is narrowing ahead. And it looks like it's getting greener. Which could be a good sign. I can see, I can see water through the, uh, through the gap there. I'm just looking at this lake and thinking, this could be abundant, this could be one of the most plentiful missions I've ever been on. Exciting. It'll be dark soon, and with predators about, I need to sleep off the ground. These two trees up here look fairly promising. I'll just see if I can literally wedge myself in the uh, in between those two boughs there. And um, what's that near the bank? That looks like. Okay, there's baboons on the other side of the lake. One, two, three. Are they all baboons? I need to get fire going to keep them and anything else at bay. Ember. Yes! Yes, fire! <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Oop, there's my drill. Not on that. It's getting dark, so along with my fire, I build a boma, a ring of thorny branches around my tree to protect me. It's pretty serene here this morning. If I'm gonna thrive here, as well as find food, I need to make myself a proper shelter. I've gotta be honest. I had a terrible night's sleep up there. Um, and so um, I'm gonna build myself a platform. This should help me sleep safe and sound. Oh, I can actually lie down. <laughs> That's really good. That is really, really good. I am hungry. Building this um, shelter has made me extraordinarily hungry. Maybe it's time to start thinking about setting some traps. I'm gonna make the cordage today and I could be eating well. Could be eating well within a day or two. These plants might not be edible, but they'll help me catch food. Whilst the string for my nooses dries, the temperature has dropped enough for me to build my fish trap. Why don't you use these big lumps of driftwood and then pin them down with the stones? And I should make myself those quite big walls in no time at all. It's taking longer than I thought, so I'll finish it in the morning. 
and get my Bushman's traps made this evening in the last few hours of light. Okay, I've got the string ready for my first trap. I'm baiting two traps to maximize my chances of catching something. Okay, trap set. After all that activity, I'm completely wiped out. It's the end of day two, and all I've eaten is a handful of bugs. It's a beautiful evening. <sighs> it's been sprung. I got a bird. <laughs> Not sure exactly what bird this is. Uh, that's a good amount of protein. Um, if I get some fish today as well, I'll be eating well. <laughs> fish for supper! A brace, a brace of fish with bird, good meal, happy days. My first few days of hard graft are starting to pay off. This will be my first proper meal in three days. Okay, one plucked bird, ready for roasting. Fish first, I think. Always loves bones. Worth it when you've got big chunks of white fish like that. I'm eating well. I'm eating absolutely so well. I think this mission so far is a success. I can, um, I can smell a dead animal, rotting animal. So there's probably a carcass around here somewhere. That's it. Okay, and this is well there. This is a little antelope. Oh, it's disgusting. If there are meat eaters around, I need to know if I'm in serious danger. So I'm leaving one of my cameras running to see if it catches anything. Okay, that should do. Okay, this is the first sign of human activity since I've been here. This must be an old boundary line or something. But what I'm thinking is this wire could be very, very useful for me. I'll make some wire snares, which should hopefully improve my chances of catching a warthog. It's day five. But before I go hunting, I want to know what could end up hunting me. Okay, interestingly, the carcass has actually definitely moved. Um, so something will be caught on the camera trap because something's been eating this. It's a lynx. Ha <laughs> No way. That's amazing. Just shows that there are big cats out there. Um, a lynx isn't, isn't a man-eater, but it's a predator. And, Oh wow, we've got warthogs. <laughs> There's warthogs on the carcass. Wow, look at the tusks on that. Wow, you would not want to mess with that. If I actually do manage to catch myself a warthog, I need to be so careful. These things are gonna be dangerous. In my opinion, that is the clincher. I need to set traps around the carcass. That's where the animals are. All I need to do is use the wire off that old boundary line to make snares. As horrible as it may sound, um, it will strangle itself to death. I've made the nooses too big to snag a lynx. I'm only after the warthogs. But I've been so busy today, I've taken my eye off the bigger picture. I forgot to, I forgot to go fishing. I was so intent on 
on setting snares for the warthogs that I I didn't um, I didn't check the uh, fish trap when all the fish were active and they're not active now. They've all gone to bed or sleep or something. I really hope that I catch a pig. I really do. Tomorrow, fingers crossed, it's going to be a day of plenty. Sound. I can't hear any commotion. No, all three posts are still here. All the um, all the traps are still in place. Traps still set. Optimism still. Hi. But, caught up in my enthusiasm for pig trapping, I failed to notice what's happening right in front of me. For some reason, the water level has also gone down. Um, so, uh, that show that the rains are overdue, the water is going down and down and down. This trap has been my most reliable source of food, so I've now got a dilemma. Spend at least a day rebuilding it in deeper water or concentrate my efforts on the warthog. It's an easy choice. I'm craving pig. Laying two more traps on the warthog paths will maximize my chances of catching one. I've now got five traps out in total, and the thought of bacon is driving me to distraction. Over the next two days, as hunger totally consumes me, I go back and forth, obsessively checking my traps. Nothing, no bacon tonight. My normal survival instincts seem to have deserted me. Everything has become about catching a warthog. I wonder whether I wonder whether the warthogs have been back, but um, the traps haven't been effective enough to catch them. Now, after all my obsessing over the hogs, my time here in Namibia is nearly done. As far as catching pigs is concerned, it's game over for me. I'm exhausted. I am absolutely exhausted. My decision to go all or nothing for the warthogs means I haven't eaten anything for days. This is not the way things were meant to go. <sighs> I have to admit, I've had, I've had enough. <sighs> After days of failure and nothing to eat, I've got one more full day here in Namibia to try and redeem myself and prove I can thrive and not just survive. Woken up with a new frame of mind this morning. Yesterday I allowed the difficulty of the conditions, I suppose, and the, and the difficulty of being a bit malnourished and a bit sleep deprived. I allowed that to get me down and I started moaning and grumbling to myself internally in my head. And then I just thought, do you know what, Ed? Take responsibility for who you are and where you are. And the phenomenal setting that you're in and the incredible experience that you're having just own it, take responsibility, and chuck a load of positivity and love and energy at it. Grin widely and go, I can deal with this. The fish trap is now pretty much unusable and there's no way on my last full day here I'm rebuilding that wall. So um, there's gonna be no fish today. I need to go further afield and try and find some food. Ah, 
Oh, it's just taking a little rest at the top of this hill. Thinking I'm just exhausted and then a rock moved and it's moving again. <laughs> that is amazing. Proper food, a proper full stomach tonight. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, killing animals is never, never easy, especially something like this big old tortoise. And that is dead. I can't afford to waste any opportunity to get nutrients inside me. Even its blood is crucial. That's a weird thing to do. The thought of it was quite disgusting. I've never drank the blood of a freshly killed animal before, but um, the taste is good, really good. Cooking it in its shell will help protect it from the embers and retain as much moisture as possible. I'm going to leave it in the embers for, I think, about three and a half hours, I reckon, so it's nice and slow cooked. By late evening, this will be ready. I'm just going to scrape sand off the top. The, um, the shell has actually become puncturable, which I wasn't expecting at all. That makes it very easy to break into it. This is, this is tripe, and this is the intestines. Oh, look at that meat there. Oh, it's just... Wow. It's just utterly delicious. After several days of nothing to eat, this is literally the best thing I've ever tasted. Not bad end to the trip really. I've got a full belly. I've eaten well and well hydrated. It's my last morning in Namibia and after last night's feast I'm up early and full of beans. <sighs> What a trip, eh? What a trip. I think for me, the overriding theme of this particular mission was being surrounded by so many animals. Um, to be able to literally look up and all the time see them and come close to, but um, not being able to catch them all. They've teased me, they've tempted me. Ah, that's too warthog. Just wanted to um, put in a little appearance um, right at the end. So uh, yeah, I'm still here, but um, he didn't catch me. Goodbye to my little camp. It's been extraordinarily comfortable, that little camp, over the time I've been here. But when the rains come, there'll be even more food around. That was the turning point from surviving to thriving. Namibia at the end of dry season. Done. Done and dusted.